had been very active as a high school student in science, including having become a National Science Fair finalist, and Case was the best school in the country that accepted me where I knew I could get an education and major in physics. I learned how to think at the university. I got an excellent, broad, comprehensive education, including liberal arts. So I really developed my ability to solve problems, and I think that's the biggest skill that uh, I obtained at what was then Case Institute of Technology, now Case Western Reserve University. Well, I think my first year I was a member of the uh, concert band. I played um, first chair, second clarinet. I was also involved in the speech contest and I won the Rupert Beckstead Award for that. I was on the track team my first year and then played intramural basketball after that. I was also a member of an off-campus fraternity, Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity. I started my career as a patent attorney working for Hercules Incorporated in Wilmington, Delaware. During that period of time, I was also a utility regulator and I was chairman of the Public Service Commission here in Delaware. In 1982, I became a Superior Court judge and that's obviously uh, law related, but then I got a great opportunity to go in-house as General Counsel of Bell Atlantic Delaware. So that pretty much tracks my career as an attorney up until the time I retired from Verizon, which was Bell Atlantic's successor company, and came to this law firm as a partner. I was a partner here for about 10 years and I retired a couple of years ago and I'm now counsel to the law firm. When I left Verizon and decided to come to this firm, my goal was to try to advance diversity in law firms both here and also in other firms in the state of Delaware. And we've achieved some modest success with that. But I've also been interested in diversity in general. Uh, there were very few people of color, particularly African Americans at Case when I was a student. When I came back as a trustee, the numbers had not changed dramatically. So I was very happy to be introduced to the Doc Kelker Scholarship by my uh, good friend Harold McRae, who graduated from Western Reserve a few years before I did. And I've contributed to the Doc Kelker Scholarship, and it is so gratifying to get those letters from students who benefited from that scholarship and are able to achieve an education at Case Western Reserve and get started on their career. So I am very, very dedicated to advancing diversity and the Kelker Scholarship has given me the opportunity to do that at Case. Well, I generally track my career path by saying I started in a barbershop and ended up in a boardroom. My first job was shining shoes in my father's barbershop about a block from the State House in Columbia, South Carolina. Through the different professions that I've had, both as a researcher, uh, patent attorney, judge, general counsel, CEO of a telecommunications company, and law firm partner, and ultimately being able to serve in boardrooms of public companies kind of tracks the things that I have done. That's what I'm proud of, and Case really gave me a good foundation to be able to handle the responsibilities for all of those positions. Well, I certainly enjoyed my tenure as a trustee, and as an emeritus trustee, I've been very happy to track all of the progress that the university has made, particularly in the area of diversity. One of the things that happened within the last couple of weeks, which was very exciting for me, was the opportunity to find a diverse student here in Delaware who had an interest in STEM fields and wanted to go to Case Western Reserve University. I was very happy to write a letter of recommendation for her and she got accepted to the university and that really made me feel good. The thing that excites me most about CWRU today is the progress that they've made under the leadership of President Barbara Schneider. It has just been fantastic, and I can look with pride where the university is today compared to where it was some time ago. Also on the diversity front, the work of Dr. Marilyn Mobley, the Vice President for Diversity, Inclusion, and Equal Opportunity. Her leadership has gone a long way to achieving some of the goals that I was most interested in at Case, and that's what really excites me about the university. Thank you.